Dave Gouin have got a huge reputation for hole making. This is the HR500 solid carbide reamers. Is it a large part of your range? It's a growing part of the range, um, very much so. Uh, we've always um, had reamers within the range. This was um, a product that we first developed a number of years ago, and it's just the whole range has just been enhanced over the, for the last um, year, two years, with additional geometries, additional, additional sizes, um, additional coatings, um, additional shapes where we have a, a short stubby length, which we recently launched, which is the T. Um, but the basic idea all comes about from the fact that it started with one carbide, which was a, a, a carbide that grade that was developed by Goering. We are our own manufacturers of carbide. And um, it was a very hard grade, and we found that its ideal application was in reaming, as opposed to drilling or full milling. Sure. And when you're reaming, getting lubrication to the end of the rod, to the bottom of the hole, it's essential. How, how mm. do you get around this problem? Depends. Um, whether you are um, reaming a through or a blind hole, mm -hmm. if you are um, reaming a blind hole, then we have a, a, an axis hole that goes right right from the from axially through the back of the shank, comes out at the front, and you'll probably see from there it's a very large mm. as it would be. So the actual the ability is that you'll be getting a lot of coolant volume. You need that because of the the, the speed that the actual reamer runs at. You have to flush the swarf very quickly away from the cutting edge to be able to continue sure. that feed rate. So uh, with a blind hole, you have a, a large hole running all the way through. And with a through hole, you, the coolant itself is delivered through um, grooves on the shank, which are in line with the actual flute. That then blasts the coolant down the flute and pushes all the swarf forward. There's um, quite a, a, a good video which actually describes this, and um, it, it actually shows the, the coolant. The speeds that it run at, that they run at, are almost double what you would drill at. So in the past, where you had a situation where reaming was always the slowest process, um, it can actually be, and, and obviously was the, 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 the slowest process, um, the biggest taker of time on a component. Um, obviously, this particular one now chops lots of cycle time off a complete uh, machining application. Why is that? Is that purely that with food coolant or is it the, the coating as well? It's a combination of things. You've got, you've got the carbide grade, so it's a very wear resistant grade. You've got a, um, a super A um, coating, it's an aluminium nitride coating. And um, again, that gives it a good wear resistance on the cutting edge. And um, you've also then got the benefit of the through spindle coolant clearing the swarf as well. What are the increment, size of increments within the programme? The range starts at 3mm and it goes through to 20mm. All the nominal sizes are covered, um, but they also, on, and they've recently brought in in the last um, 12 months or so, we now do um, an, an O1 increment range either size of either side sorry, of the uh, nominal size. So that's how that works. So that takes you right the way through to 20mm. Um, we later came along to the HR500T. And that particular range starts at 16 millimetres and goes all the way through to 38. So that's quite them. Yeah, and is this, is this aimed at any particular sector, like an automotive sector? It can be various, realistically, because you would then uh, be able to run it uh, in lots of different materials. We do have various different HR500 for, we have an HR500 for aluminium, one for cast iron, but the, the, the general range can cover most materials. In other words, it would cover steels predominantly, but we've also run them on some uh, heat resistant materials and also with um, um, uh, general construction materials as well. And what happens if I need a size that falls out of a catalogue? Um, can you offer specials? Absolutely. We can, they're made as a standard blank, so we're able to modify to size. We tend to prefer to actually make from, from scratch rather than to actually um, modify it because of the fact that you, you have far more accuracy basing it from making it from, from, from scratch as you do to, to modify. You've always got to set it up again. That can cause some issues. And when it's worn? Can you regrind it, recoat yeah. it here at Gooing? We have the facility here in Birmingham where we can recoat, um, we can regrind and we can recoat. Uh, we can also wet blast it, so that gives us the surface finish that we require as well. Um, and also because we use our own coating machine and it's our own process with our own coating, we're able to control the actual thickness of the coating. Because the one thing with reaming is you can lose the tolerance if you can. You also have to, with, with these reamers as well, we're able to decoat here in Birmingham so we can decoat before we grind and then we can finish coat after. So that works quite well. 
So if you're running that fast, Dave, presumably you're leaving less material on than your competitors would be in the roughing process? Not at all, Joe, actually. No change at all to the amount of material that you leave in the hole for reaming. So obviously it dependent, it's very dependent on the actual size of the hole. Uh, the small diameter ones you may be looking as, 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 as low as 0 0.1, 0 0.05 down at the 0.3mm for instance. But right at the top end you typically leave in 0.3 or 0.4. Um, I actually had one application where we took as much as 0.7 out with one of these reamers and that was at about 16 mil. So they are very, very versatile to be able to, to, to the amount of material you're leaving in there. They like to be worked, it's as simple as that. Uh, and typically, if you think of it in a, in a reasonable construction steel, um, you can run up to 250 metres a minute. And with a, uh, let's just say that the actual um, reamer itself has got eight teeth, and you're running at 0.1 um, per tooth, that you could almost get up to a millimetre per rev. So the actual speed it's going at is absolutely dramatic. And as I say, that is the biggest benefit to the tool itself, is the actual cycle time saving.